Hey everyone, this is Zappy7, and today I'm going to be playing the investigation files of Assistant Sari Muraha. Um, so, I have, while this is set in the, in the, uh, in the playlist for the Detective Inaba series, um, this is set before, um, I mean, this is placed before the, uh, Mystery Files of Detective Inaba number three, because it is a direct prequel to that, um, and you're supposed to play it beforehand. However, unfortunately, I did not, um, and I didn't know that I was supposed to, but, um, so if you're watching this through the playlist, then I have already played number three, um, but I would advise you probably to watch this playthrough first, because this episode, I think, is only, like, it's pretty short, I think, in comparison to the multi-episode other ones. So, um, this will probably give some extra background to what will happen in the third one if you haven't watched it, and if you have watched it already, then this will give some, maybe some extra context or something. So, let's begin. Ugh, school's finally over. Now that's my cue to head straight on over to Mr. Inaba's place. Really now? Are you honestly hurrying off to your after-school part-time job again? Or is it or is that your secret code word for, I'm gonna go off to see my boyfriend? Cut it out, don't be ridiculous, as if that had ever happened. <sighs> eh, that makes me even more suspicious. Haven't you been working there since grade school? Yep, I do all the cleaning, laundry, cooking. Now that makes you sound like more of a housekeeper than a part-time assistant. Is that not normal? Seriously, Nina, the fact that you even have to question it is... Oh, I just remembered something. Your part-time job is right down by that bus stop, right? Huh? Yeah, it is. Why do you ask? Have you heard that the, uh, that the mansion you there is haunted? Huh? What? Seriously? Seriously. It's said that whoever enters the mansion will never be able to escape. Whoa. So it's that sort of place. If I recall correctly, you're totally okay with ghost stories, right, Nina? I like to think I've gotten better at them since I personally know a certain someone who really, really can't stand them. Really? Well, just be careful when you're going to your part-time job, alright? It's rumored that a flesh-eating ghoul lives there. A flesh-eating ghoul? Who knows, that's what they call it. And I wouldn't worry if I were you, actually, because you're so scrawny, nothing but skin and bones. I'm not scrawny, I'm just... <laughs> I'm just flat-chested. Haha, <laughs> sorry, sorry, but I really do worry about you, Nina. I got some club activities to do right now, so I gotta get going. Okay, thanks. Have fun. A haunted mansion, a flesh-eating ghoul. If I told Mr. Nina about, about any of these, he'd get mad at me for just trying to spook him out. I got it. I just won't tell him about it at all. Anyway, it's time for me to head off to the Inaba Detective Bureau. How to play... Same stuff? Wait, numeric keypad. You can move... With two, four, six, and eight. Wait a minute. Oh, on the D pad, not on the number. Yeah, no, right, okay, that makes more sense. I was like, who the hell? Although, actually, I will say that reminds me. I one time saw a video of this dude who was playing CSGO, Counter Strike Global Offensive, and he was using one, two, three, and four. Not the ones on the numpad, but the ones above. Q E uh, Q W E R. He was using those as his move movement keys, and I was just appalled that he could even control his character like that. Male student with black hair. You seem to be going to that part-time job of yours every day after school. Isn't your boss like some kind of s uh, slave driver or something? Haha, <laughs> maybe he is, but I like being there, so it's fine with me. <laughs> you were always a strange one. <laughs> Just stand right in front of him. You're not saying anything. What's wrong? Are you okay? He's not so used to talking to girls already more. <laughs> Just let him be. Jeez. There are cleaning supplies stored in the locker. <clears throat> Crap, it's almost summer vacation. Why does everyone have to be so goddamn excited about it? Grumble, grumble, grumble. Wait, male student who is jealous of normies. What? What is the Japanese equivalent for that? I know that this was... This was translated what, what how do you say normie in japanese what did they translate that from surely it didn't say that okay anyways i think it's best if i just leave him alone 
I get this feeling that if, uh, you're much sharper than you look, Arimura. Really? Why is that? You give us this aura like you're a detective from a mystery book or something. I wonder if that's because of Miss Irinaba. Arimura, how would you like to become the class president next semester? I can think of no one better for the role. Um, but my part-time job keeps me pretty busy. Pretty busy, so that's why I can't take over as class president. My apologies. I understand. I still think you'd be a perfect candidate. This cabinet's for my teacher. It's locked. Teacher's desk. All right, well. It's my class's bulletin board. Our class president leaves notices for the rest of us, our students here. Even if I was conducting an investigation, I still wouldn't want to dig through the trash. Well, sometimes you have to. Gaudy female student. Nina, working at your part-time job again? Yep, that's right. So, like, could you take me with you next time you go? Huh? Do you have some kind of request you want to make? A case request? You gotta be kidding me, girl. I mean, like, you work alongside a detective, right? Aren't they usually the dark and handsome types? Huh? Are they? Totally. So, like, you gotta introduce me to them. I, uh, uh think about it. I don't know. Inaba does not seem like the most emotional person. Especially for people who are probably underage anyways. I want to apologize for my friend here. All she cares about is looks. Yeah, evidently. I see. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, I see. That was just the... <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. Did they seriously just copy-paste the... Okay, well, let's see. Man, I'm so hungry. I want to go home already. I, I'll never understand people who do stuff like club activities after school is over. Cleaning supplies in the locker. Okay, well then, what's over here? Oh, it's the same... So that hall is a circle, then. Should I get ready to head over to the office? Mine as well. Oh, it's the other side of the street. Hmm. Oh, hmm? Those uniforms. Don't they go to the same school as me? <gasps> Shouldn't we be going home? Are you kidding me? We just got here. Besides, you don't get to do something like this every day. She's right, you know. Don't tell me you're going to chicken out now. Yeah, but you're going to be fine. You're going to, uh, you're not, wait. You're not going to see any creepy ghouls or whatever in there. Well, worst case scenario, if, if a monster does decide to rear their ugly head, we can just hightail it and run out of there, right? Well, yeah, if it's not a dog or something. I guess. That's the spirit. Come on, everyone. Let's get moving. Hmm. This is cool to see in, in afterwards. Oh, shit. The void. So this is the mansion I've been hearing about. I I guess it certainly does live up to its reputation of being haunted and all. <sighs> the door. It opens on its own? Okay. This place is definitely giving me the heebie-jeebies. I should get going to Miss Narina Buzz. Huh? What the? Why can't I leave? What should I do? I'm stuck near the spooky mansion and I don't want to be here. Strange. It looks like I can't make any calls on my phone. But I still got a cell signal. Uh, you must be using AT&T. What was that sound? If this was any other situation, I would get out as quickly as I can. But right now, I have no choice but to go inside. All I can hope for is that Mr. Inaba calls me when he notices I'm late for work. I guess. <laughs> Ooh, it's so dark in here. Now where did I put my cell phone? Here we go. I can use this to light the way. I just hope it's got enough battery for this. Seems someone left a note here. Dobro uh, pojalovat. Please stay a very long time. You know, that's kind of weird. That means that, I mean, this of course is translated, not, not dobro pozolovat, but, you know, please stay a very long time is translated from Japanese, which is in the same character as dobro pozolovat, which means a pozolovat, pozolovat, um, which means that she went out of her way to write dobro pozolovat in Japanese characters. What the hell? Does this mean that someone still lives here? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Was that someone screaming? Is it from the, one of those boys? I need to hurry to him. Yeah, what happened here? <laughs> Sheesh, that's two heart attacks in a row. Huh? Oh, it's Mr. Inaba. 
Hello, Mr. Annabelle, sir? Do you have any idea what time it is now? Or have you decided you're going to start playing hooky from work? I wouldn't even imagine doing something like that. I'm inside this mansion near the bus stop. Hmm? Oh, I see now. You're talking about that old mansion near here. Well, what are you doing inside there? Did you, uh... Wait, did you finally lose whatever uh, you call a sense of direction, or was it just a wrong left turn? Of course not, but something really bad happened here. I just got a—I just found the bodies of two dead students from my school. What? Please, I need you to come right away. I'll meet you as soon as I can figure out how to escape from this mansion. My God, Russian has a lot of consonants. Huh? To be continued on the mystery files of Detective Number Three, which is very good. By the way, if you haven't, uh... oh shit, their logo chain. Ah. All right then. Well, that was pretty short, yeah. But uh, makes up for a very, very long last episode that I just did um, la for the last, you know, last time. So, um, yeah, I guess that that's pretty much it. <laughs> that was the whole thing. So it re that really is just a direct prequel. But um, yeah, I hope that if any of you are watching this who hasn't seen the series for number three yet. I hope that you're hyped, because it's, it's pretty good. It's a lot different than the other ones, but... Um, and if you have already watched it, I really hope that you liked this. It's cool how it's uh, intersected with the very beginning of the, of the main game as well. But, uh, yeah. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, then please leave a like and subscribe to Joel the Coral's Rebellion. If you have any suggestions for games for me to play or ways to make my commentating more enjoyable, don't hesitate to leave a comment. One more thing, though. I have to say, I feel like instead of calling it the investigation files of Assistant Arimura, they should have just started the main game like this and then cut to the act to the beginning of it now, so that people so that it avoids people doing what I did of accidentally playing the second one first and then this one next. But, <clears throat> anyways, um, I guess that's about it. See ya.